We need a revival. How many of you believe we need a revival? Revival simply means when God comes to town. That's all. When God comes to town, the devil leaves town. And if you want God to come to town, please understand, like John Wesley of the Methodist Church said, it seems to me that God can do nothing for humanity until somebody prays. Things don't just happen. Don't believe that revival just comes. Revival don't just happen because God promised revival. We have a responsibility. When God makes a promise, you and I have a responsibility to do something about what God promised because of the rules of engagement. And I did establish that Satan is the God of this world. Second Corinthians 4, 4, Luke, the fourth chapter, the fifth and the sixth verse. Satan said to Jesus, the glory, the kingdom, the riches of this world, which you see was delivered unto me and to whomsoever I will, I give it. Who gave it to Satan? Not God. Adam ceded the dominion mandate to Satan. And so, so Satan has the legal right to operate, to kill, steal, and destroy, and oppress humanity. And the Bible said, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. And, and, and let me tell you, the, the advantage of the adversary is to keep you and I ignorant. He knows everything about us. We don't know anything about him. Paul said the other day, he said, we are not ignorant of his devices, lest he gains advantage over us. And one of the devices of the adversary, the accuser, is to keep you and I ignorant. And we can't afford to be ignorant. It's a luxury, we can't afford it. Somebody say, I hear you. 